हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल वंस अगेन टुडे टॉपिक जेआरसी रेडार टुडे आई विल फेमलाइज यू फ्रॉम जेआरसी रेडार इफ यू वांट टू लर्न समथिंग जस्ट वॉच द कंप्लीट वीडियो सो इट विल बी वेरी यूजफुल वीडियो फॉर यू आई हैव पोस्टेड सो मेनी टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू एक डिस ब्रिज इक्विपमेंट यू कैन वॉच लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन so guys this is the jrc radar this is the monitor which it looks like and uh, this is the panel so first i will tell you about the panel some basic features so from this as you can see from here you can switch on or switch off the radar and the uh, you can acknowledge uh, alarm from this this button and uh, you can put it in standby as you can see i put it standby mode and once you put this in standby mode you can see the transmission time how many hours in total time total running times so again i put it in on mode so from this button you can select the ebl ebl1 and ebl2 so as you can see screen i have selected ebl and uh, you can adjust adjust ebl by rotating this knob ebl1 or ebl2 you can deselect also from here all so as you can see i am at anchor now so the anchor mark is not so visible so next you can adjust the tune by rotating the knob adjust the rain clutter c clutter and after that gain so indicator is here as you can see i'm adjusting the gain first so you can once you rotate it clockwise gain will increase and in anti clockwise gain will decrease and as per your requirement as per the c condition weather condition you can check adjust the gain and from as you can see i'm increasing the c clutter and it is increasing now i am rotating anti clockwise it is decreasing so these are the basic feature and uh, this c and then always has to be in manual mode and this tune has to be in auto mode so as some other feature are you can increase the range or decrease the range from this button and you can select vrm variable range marker 1 and 2 so as you can see i selected variable range marker 2 also so you can increase or decrease as per your requirement from this knob and uh, next you you can select uh, true vector and relative vector mode from here next you can change the daylight at night day mode or night mode as per your requirement which is suitable for you and panel light from here and next you can acquire the target by putting the cursor on that target so once you put that cursor on the particular target and press the acquire manual the target will be selected and from this button acquire cancel you can cancel also and you can get target data as i said first you have to select the acquire manual once you acquire the target then press the target data so once you press the target data all the information will 
come here as you can see bearing range course speed cpa dcpa bow crossing range bow crossing time and next we will see features on the radar monitor so as you can see from here you can select the range and deselect the range means increase the range or decrease the range and uh, you can select the range ring range ring from here as i am selecting range ring okay guys you can see on the screen range ring i have selected ranging 0.25 nautical mile so let me go back and uh, tell you these are the performance standard also of radar this has to be you can select the range at 0.75 after that 1.5 and 3 6 and you can increase in this order this will be increase your range okay and then next thing you can deselect the range ring from here only you can change the relative motion or true motion mode from here in the further video i will tell you all the details what are the relative motion and true motion and uh, you can change the mode north up mode course up mode head up mode so in my next video i will be tell you in details and the next is off center you can off center the screen as per your requirement where you want to adjust first you have to click on the off center then after that you can adjust where you want to put it and so i am telling you some useful and common things which are required only for your knowledge and the cursor information you can get from here like true bearing range position you can get it from here and from here you can see ebl1 ebl2 vrm1 vrm2 details from here okay guys so next thing you can get the heading from here speed from here you can change the, you can change the stabilized mode from here as you can see here is written gps so once you click on the here you will automatically stabilized mode will be changed so if you want to put it in c stabilized so this one is say stabilized and uh, if you get feedback from the gps region ground is stabilized so course it here uh, course over ground this one speed over ground here utc time and the real d gps position you get it from here and the geod geodetic information you get from here and uh, you can adjust the vector relative or true as you need and set the vector timing for how many minutes you want the vector so i put 12 minutes press 1 and 2 and after that put enter and next you can change the limit so cpa you can set means i want to get the 1 mile cpa press 1 after that 0 and enter cpa automatically will change so tcpa from here if you want fast position you can on and off you can increase for how many minutes you want fast positions and further you can select ais
you can select AIS and deselect AIS information from here. Okay, guys. And the uh, trails you can select. You want to uh, trails in true mode or relative mode. And you can increase the time from here for how many minutes you want the trails. So right now I don't want, so I put it off. So these are the, you can see the target information here. Here as you can see there are so many menu. So I will tell you which are important for you guys. So first you go into main and you can see there are so many sub menu as per your information your knowledge you can go into in that menu so i want to check radar performance test so how will you test actually performance monitor is important you have to check in each and every watch and log it down so first go in test menu and after that go in monitor display so as you can see the screen is changed now and you can you can write the value of the performance monitor by increasing or decreasing the VRM so in my, in my next video I will be explain one by one feature in details how to do it so I am telling you now right now in basic features so you can test the performance monitor from this menu so actually performance uh, monitor value is the standard value which you get from your manual so I will be exiting from here ok so so guys next uh, PI parallel indexing so parallel indexing is generally used for to check your your position that you are on correct track so once you on it you have to change the bearing and range so as you can see parallel indexing bearing and range you can change from here ok uh, uh, next azimuth as you can see once you switch it on so whichever target comes under this sector it will give automatic alarm as you can see ok guys you can see new target detected but whichever is target come inside it will give alarm so generally I use it during drifting so you can change the you can change the ring by putting the cursor and press it down and move as per your requirement so let me tell you you can see this circle in the outer circle whichever is target come this will give alarm once target inside of this uh, circle it won't give alarm so guys this was the basic features so uh, next time I will tell you in details what are the important features in thank you so much guys to watch my video completely and next time I will be present with another new topic Thank you so much. Bye-bye.